Hey guys, MD95TSI here today. How's things going? So you guys know the Snaptain uh, 7100. Um, they've had issues with these guys. Uh, they've been having um, toilet bowl problems. Uh, if you kind of take off, it'll hover. And then any stick input, it starts to do this. And it'll just get wilder and wilder and wilder. So to get into this guy, you're going to have to remove... A screw up here one here one here and the same on the other side then you're gonna remove two screws here lift this little door out this little holder here pop that out where your antennas and all are and then right in here in this hole you're gonna get that in and that's gonna allow you to take the top off this thing now let's take the top off this thing and let me show you what I think might be going on in here oh you see what you see you see there to me, they got the compass right near the module. Look, it looks almost like they just put them together. It doesn't even look like it screws. This one screws. Looks like it's just stuck there by tape. So you can see right here. Um, let's go ahead and peel this off. One of these is going to be the GPS module. One is going to be the compass. And they cannot have, they cannot be open like that. If you guys don't know, they have to be completely barriered. And exactly what they did, they just stuck the compass in here with tape. This is this is literally like redunculous for them to do that. This thing is three hundred and some dollars. Look at that barrier. That's, is that even barrier tape? Yeah, I see copper on the inside. So look what's going on here. They actually had a screw. It looks like they didn't even screw it, honestly. They have another screw hole right there, and they never even put the screw in it. So this thing was just sitting in there, laying against here, and then not being taped was another problem, because you should have tape across all of this. Every one I've ever been into, DJI, everything is always barriered to compass and the GPS and the module. So I'm thinking this is going to be the GPS module, and this is going to be the compass. Ah, oh, not sure, but. I'm definitely going to try to figure this thing out and I'm going to go ahead and barrier both these pieces. I'm going to put a screw in this. Then I'm going to put this tape like this and barrier both of it. And I may even get some more barrier tape and go ahead and try to, you know, make it better. But all of this, so when this is close together like this, right, that this module was more or less laying right on top of this board here. You can see where they pinched wires here. So they threw this thing together is what happened. And Okay, so I'm going to put a screw in this one. I'm going to try to get a screw in this hole here and get onto that standoff like so. Nice and tight because this has to be tight now. This can't be in here bouncing around. So what happened was when he built this thing, he snapped the screw off here. He obviously had this screw and this screw and he said shit on it and it didn't matter on corner in the screw that's tight now I mean that's literally tight so with this being the GPS and the compass this should be the GPS I believe and then this is the compass um or, or vice versa uh yeah it just is crazy no this is going to be the compass on top here I do see it now and then the wires here they just take and don't even bore a little channel through here to put the wires it just crimps it down on top of the frame and cuts the wires in half so guys, this is a good product. Don't get me wrong. I like what they're doing here. I really like that they're trying to give you different options than just going out and buying a Mavic. Um, weight's good on it. Everything I, I really liked about this thing. Uh, that's why I won, well, E-Drone was having problems with it. I was like, uh, you want to sell that to me? He's like, I don't feel good with selling it, but I'll let you have it. I want to document something else I found when I'm in here. If you look at this leg right here. It's not even soldered. It's complete. Look, I put the knife right in between them and bend the leg up. Not even soldered. The way they threw this thing together, I'm sorry. <laughs> the wires are just a rat's nest. It's just like they could have did way better. So I'm going to go ahead and solder that while I'm in here because they put it on there for a reason. Uh, has to make a, a difference, right? So we're going to bear that down on there and go ahead and drop some solder onto it. I would try to do it on camera, but we're not going to attempt that. Sorry, guys. We're barriered. I put a screw in it. Uh, I soldered that cap back onto it. Um, 
other than that we're gonna go ahead and put it back together and that's just a matter of putting it back together like I showed you how to how you pull it apart you just kind of put your sides back on make sure they, they kind of locked themselves in kind of like a groove and you can see everything goes back in like so we'll roll it over and we'll put our two screws back in right in here just drop it down in there and kind of find its way on in is what it'll do okay then we're gonna put another one in there and then I'll go ahead and button up the other ones I'm not gonna do all that on camera there's no need to do that so stay tuned for a video we'll get this thing out and we'll see if we can't fix it snap -tain. you hear me <laughs> huh maybe we could do some work together maybe I could be your tech in the US holler at me man I love doing this stuff I love problem solving and figuring things out and uh, getting it done all right guys so we have it back together everything chimes in looks like I might have just damaged one LED because when I was trying to get this apart earlier I went in the back side here to with a screwdriver so that's no worries right there that's minor if it works so yeah let's go ahead and uh, get this thing up and see what it does uh, real curious now now that I've taken it apart and physically seen a problem but I have had ones before that didn't have the shielding on it and I fixed the shielding and it still did the same thing so it's I guess a 50 50 chance of maybe if it didn't mess up the components on the inside why it was doing what it did uh, found the capacitor off I documented that and documented everything that I saw wrong on the inside um so I'm hoping this works I really am uh, I love problem solving so man if this works and I could put that video out and save people hundreds of course they're replacing your models but still if you have your old one right why not fix it put it out there on the uh, market make a couple dollars back off your investment nothing wrong with that if you can't do the work hit me up email in description I'll be glad to do the work for you we'll figure something out I'm easy I'm cheap to work with <laughs> ask anyone around I build all the time for people so I love doing uh, toy gray drones and GPS drones just something I like to do I'm gonna walk out here get away from all the metal and uh, let's go ahead and see what happens guys yeah whoops app always tells you that to start and then just gives you a good thing of where to fly and where not to fly and now we need to do our accomplished calibration so we'll set that see where it's at and what it's doing I guess I should have this down here okay now I, I turned it the one way and didn't I have to do it this way okay it seems to be good okay and you hear it let you know that the propellers are real janky on this thing so let's go ahead and I'll push it forward see if it pull it bolts I stopped see what it does it's not toilet bowling guys I can tell you on holding its position it's a little it's a little off but it's it's toy greater so we can expect that let's see and that's speed setting let's turn that speed setting down that way when we move it barely gives it a little bit of movement there we go no bullet bowling You can see the propellers doing this, so that's why it's, and then the wind, we have a little breeze. It's not toilet bowling. It would, before it would start doing this, after a, uh, after a stick input, it would start to, to just toilet bowl and get wider and wider and wider and wider and faster. So it's a fix.
I don't know about you guys, but that's success. Now I'll recharge the battery and the transmitter and the drone. <laughs> Yeah, what I'm seeing is uh, it's definitely fixed. It definitely isn't doing the toilet bowl that it was doing. Uh, before, like I said, any stick movement, like it would come up and hover and kind of be a little wonky. You see how now it takes just a few, few seconds. It'll find its spot and hold it. You know, these propellers on this, uh, let me show you. You literally take the prop and do that to it. Okay. They're real flexible and you get a lot of flight time out of this but these props are too flimsy it needs it needs some a stiffer propeller on it um snap tain uh let's talk i can do some tech work for you guys i live in the u.s um i work and build drones for people so uh if they're having the same issue that this one was having we could work something out and uh possibly work together and get this figured out it even said it had qc2 so whatever that means snaptain that means the quality control that this guy did he didn't uh he didn't do his job clearly my video shows inside how fast he threw everything together there's no way this thing was going to fly with the gps compass just hanging on by one screw and just hopefully that that tape would hold it in place nah that's not going to work so uh yeah I like your I like your products. I think they're really nice. I like what you guys got going on here, um, and I'm willing to help. Uh, you see, I got this one flying good. This was the one that was in E Drones video. You remember how that video did? Yeah. So uh, this is the one, and you saw exactly what it did right here. It flew, I'd say, just about as good as TDRs, True Drone Reviews. His didn't do too bad as Eric's uh, did. Um, so proves in the pudding there. So, <laughs> uh, I'll send you guys an email.